What's going on guys? Sean here and today I have a new knife in for sharpening that I wanted to show you guys. This is a knife that I have wanted to check out for a long time now and I'm finally getting my hands on it so let's see what it is. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Would you look at that? We have ourselves a Strider. I believe this is the SMG. I'm not too familiar with the different models of Striders. I think they have like a PPT, a SNG, and a maybe a GNG. It's, uh, it goes by the different sizes, but essentially, as far as I know, they are all pretty much the same layout, same handle shape, same design, just in different sizes. Um, they also do different blade shapes, but um, yeah, let's check out this one. Ooh. So, might not be much of a fidgeter. Let's see if I can middle finger flick it. Have to add a little bit of wrist to it has a good sound to it it's a nice looking blade and we have a well designed blade right here the edge clears the plunge grind by a good bit we have a little bit of a sharpening choil right here well more than a little bit but we have the sharpening choil we have that well spaced out um, rounded off jimping that I'm really fond of very comfortable gives you um, just enough extra grip without being rough on your thumb the edge that's on it seems to be in pretty decent shape uh, tip still there bevels are pretty even so this shouldn't be you know too difficult it's definitely always a good thing when a knife comes in for sharpening and you don't see anything that's going to cause too much issues. But yeah, not really uh, reviewing this or anything. I'm just now getting this in hand. So just wanted to take a quick look at it and share that with you guys. Pretty cool looking knife. Little bit of lock stick there. I like the sound of it. I like how the back is enclosed as if it was an integral, but it's actually just the G10 scale coming across, it just wraps around the back instead of being open. That's pretty neat. I like the clip, nice and you know, small, simple. Have a lock bar stabilizer, or also known as a over travel stop. Ooh, really bad lock stick. There we go. But yeah, that that won't allow you to overextend this and unspring the tension of the frame lock. So, pretty neat looking knife. I will probably do some filming when I actually get around to sharpening this which should be within the next couple of days uh, so you guys can look forward to that and also i have a review that i'm going to try to knock out today on this beautiful knife right here this is the riot horizon d and this is an amazing knife very impressive and then of course another review i need to knockout within the next couple days for sure is this Hyperblades OTF. This is one of the knives that Mike Bean sent to me along with the Koenig Arius and the Riot Horizon D. And I sharpened this on camera live with you guys. And then I just uploaded a video yesterday showing the final results of the sharpening and man, I got this thing really sharp. 
put a proper edge on there and oh I forgot to uh, take that sharpie away I always outline the clamp position whenever I do a full sharpening or pretty much any time I put a knife in this clamp for any reason because then if I take the knife out of the clamp and for any reason I need to put it back in the clamp to touch anything up I know exactly where to clamp it so that there is not any variation in the edge bevel so that's it for this one wanted to keep this uh kind of short so hope everyone's having a great day thank you all for watching stay tuned and i will see you guys in the next one peace